BSI were invited recently on site to the Waterford Courthouse, part of the Courts Bundle PPP project awarded to BAM Ireland. We were keen to understand the role which BIM is playing for BAM Ireland and its clients and how BSI Kitemark for BIM design and construction is delivering value for the organisation. Uh, Royal BAM is made up of 10 operating companies from five home countries we call them. So we're big presence in the UK, Belgium, Germany, Ireland of course and our headquarters is in the Netherlands. BIM has revolutionised how we approach projects within BAM here in Ireland and, and across the UK and the rest of Europe and um, our whole business is changing. We're becoming far more dynamic and um, efficiency is what we're trying to achieve. Um, we're trying to do more with less always. An expensive aspect of delivering projects is, is manpower and people and we don't want people uh, sitting behind desks, we want them out in sight, we want them using uh, field technology, we want, uh, we want I suppose, to, to measure twice and cut once, so we want to get the designs 100% accurate. The digital side of construction is giving us a robustness and a certainty as we approach projects. We did a lot of clash detection and we've developed the structural and architectural model with each other at the very start and then brought in the m and &E into things then after. Um, we did develop primary runs for mechanical and electrical and basically with the, with the structural frame and we were able to see then like, where there was clashes with the structure and that so it was quite a help at the start of the project. So some of the major differences we've seen was it certainly enhanced the competency of, uh, of most of our staff around the requirements for level 2 delivery which um, was actually quite surprising to us. Um, it, it was one of the massive benefits that we have found. It has aligned all of our internal processes throughout all of our various different offices within Ireland and all of our different sites and everybody is now effectively playing from the same playbook. We assessed a number of the other potential certifications and um, having met with them we were most impressed with the, the processes that were been put in place, the people who have been put in place and the way that the BSI were going to go through the certification process with BAM. So um, it was an easy decision to make in the end. So the Kite Mark is telling our clients that BAM Ireland are taking the implementation of Level 2 BIM very seriously. It was a challenging process to go through but a very worthwhile process and it is demonstrable evidence that we are actually delivering level two um, on our construction projects. What the BIM Kite Mark has allowed us to achieve is a level of consistency around process of delivery and trying to develop that and very lean ways of working, very efficient ways of working and I think the Kite Mark has allowed us to pinpoint the most important aspects of, 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 of a process and that's where we're trying to really really add value. Our clients want BIM. They want what BIM can deliver. They want companies to be using the cutting edge technology, the best technology that's out there. They want companies to be efficient, uh, they want companies to be dynamic, thinking outside the box. Innovation is what clients are looking for, especially where repeat business might come into it. From a commercial perspective, for us it's all about risk and the less risk we have commercially the better. So if everybody's doing everything the same way on each project, we're assessing them all the same way, we are reducing risk through level 2 delivery, we have more commercial certainty and we're not taking on projects that have yet undefined risk to BAM so it is bringing far greater visibility to our commercial endeavours than we would have had previously. This uh, fantastic courthouse beside me that was built in the 1850s, but these buildings have a long life and construction and design is only a small aspect of that, it's really all about the operations and if you can bring efficiencies during your delivery side of it that they're going to achieve in the operations uh, side of it. You know, that's, that's what they're looking for. Having such a, a knowledgeable assessor made that journey easier for us because they were able to identify to us why certain things were required, where it was, you know, what the genesis of this requirement was within the documentation, and you know, to kind of strongly advise us as to how best to approach that as well. So that was tremendous. The framework put in place for us for the assessment was extremely robust, very, very clear really gave us very strong guidance as to what it was was expected of us, when we should have it and how it was to be delivered. So I wouldn't change anything about um, our assessment. From our own point of view, the Kite Mark assisted us. It, it effectively assisted us in, in how to assist our supply chain, which is an extremely important aspect of it and something that we really took a lot from. I do feel it will allow um, and encourage our supply chain to be a bit more resilient as well because, you know, a, a huge part of this is us 
assisting them and going on a journey with them. So we're building relationships with them. I think there's trust there as well. They know BAM value them and they're more inclined to invest time and energy into us and into their own aspects, particularly around information management. Um, so yeah, we, we are finding it's, it's assisting us with long-term relationships with our supply chain. The Kite Mark is a mark of quality. It's a mark of excellence. And the fact that we have a Kite Mark with a BSI it allows us to stamp our documents with this mark of excellence. It means to our clients that they have certainty that BAM have been assessed, have been independently assessed, that we're able to do what we're saying we're able to do and that we have done it.